by request a much wider angle desiccant test. A desiccant is a material that when dried out can absorb moisture from the air. And you can put these packs of desiccant like, well, easy cook rice, uh, bentonite cat litter and most commonly silica gel. You can put them into enclosures like, say, for instance, a box with your 3D printer filament in it, or perhaps your toolbox, or even your vehicle. You can put big bags of it in your vehicle and it will absorb the humidity and stop them getting sort of damp inside. This video, though, took uh, two months to make because uh, I wanted to do a super long test on it. And to do the test, I got all the materials and I loaded them into these pods. Now, these pods are originally supplied with silica gel, but I popped the lid off the end and uh, filled them up to the brim with the material. It's worth mentioning the lightest of them was the Feelite and the heaviest, I think, was the Zeolite. Uh, once I'd done that, I placed the pods onto this device here, which passes hot air through the pod at about 90 degrees Celsius. That's quite important because it would have been better to dry these at, say, 110 degrees Celsius, but that's what this thing runs at. And it was gave me a consistent, shall we say, a consistent drying temperature. And I uh, measured the weight of these until finally they stopped reducing in weight, and that was the point that the test started. So let me show you the results, and really, we're just going straight to the paperwork here, so let me put this stuff down out the way. Some surprises, I have to say, and some not surprises at all. So I shall focus down onto this, I shall zoom down onto it, and I shall go over the results with you. The first part of the test went for three weeks. It involved the rice, which is Buchan's Easy Cook Rice, I think it is in the UK. It involved zeolite uh, of unknown quality bought from eBay. It involved the silica gel from those units plus a blend of random packets that I've, you know, when you get little packets of silica gel, I just throw them in, in amongst it. It involved the Bob Martin Feelite Cat Litter, which is a sort of puffed up uh, silica gel. And it involved standard I think it's Thomas cat litter, which I think this is bentonite, but I couldn't find anything that specifically said it is bentonite clay, but I think it's bentonite clay. Not bad. So the results were this. The rice. In the first week, it took out 11 grams of moisture. That equates, now it's in grams, by the way, because that equates directly to milliliters of water. So 11 grams or 11 milliliters. Then the second week, it was 8 grams. And then the third week, it was 5 grams. And to be honest, at that point, it was trailing off. I was monitoring it every single day, and it was trailing off and just starting to jitter between 1 or 2 and 0. So I ended the first part of the test at that, but I left the test running for two months. So after three weeks, it absorbed 24 milliliters of liquid. After two months, it only absorbed five milliliters more. So you can see it tails off very quickly after three weeks. Most of them did. The zeolite started off really well with 24 milliliters, 10 milliliters, and then three milliliters in the first three weeks, totaling 37 milliliters or grams. Uh, and two months later, it only gained one more uh, gram, one milliliter. The silica gel best performer, uh, 30 grams, 25 grams, 19 grams in the first three weeks for a total of 74 grams. And even then, it still only took about 11 more grams out after over the next two months, 85 grams. So really, the first three weeks in open air are the most absorbent. Bentonite clay, 24 grams, 14 and 5. So a total of 43 grams in the first three weeks. And two months later, just three grams more. Feelite, that's the lightest of them all, this fluffy silica gel type stuff. 13 grams, 5 grams and 4 grams. So only 21 grams, but it absorbed another 7 grams, 28 grams over the course of the next uh, several weeks. When we go by the material's raw, dry weight, and to be honest, ultimately I went by volume for this because I just filled those pods up to the same capacity. And if you've got a desk and container of a given size, it has to go by volume. So for instance, the standard silica gel is a lot denser. It's a lot heavier than the sort of phyllite and that affects its moisture, total moisture absorption. So the rice had an initial dry weight of 301 grams, which means that for every uh, 
milliliter absorbed, effectively for every gram of that, it absorbed 0.1 milliliters of water. The zeolite started off 384 grams. It also only absorbed 0.1 milliliters. Now that seems odd. I thought zeolite was going to do a lot better. Ultimately, the zeolite and the rice were the same, which is very strange. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe it'd be different if they were baked drier. I don't know. And uh, it's, it's just odd. Uh, silica gel, uh, 337 grams absorbing at the most at 0.25 milliliters per gram. So 25% of its weight, basically. Uh, the bentonite clay, 272 grams absorbed uh, 0.17 milliliters per gram. And the phyllite was equal with that at 166 grams. So it absorbed 0.17 milliliters for each of those grams. But uh, the bentonite clay, you can fit a lot more density in the same space. So that's odd that the two cat litters are the super absorbent, but the, I mean, they came second, joint second to silica gel. But of them both, uh, instead of using this silica gel stuff that you think is going to work better, use the bentonite stuff because for the given mass in the same area, you're going to end up absorbing a lot more liquid, like twice as much. Now, what was it? Uh, so that was the bentonite clay absorbed 46 the phyllite absorbed 28 for a given volume. So it is almost double. Uh, but that is the result. Let me know what you think. Did I do a terrible thing by not uh, drying these out? I do have um, I do have an air fryer now dedicated to drying desiccants. Um, so I might try at some point. I might actually test them at uh, drying them at 110, 120 degrees Celsius to drive even more moisture out. But um, the 90 degrees, I think it gave a good indication that the drying them to the, with the 90 degrees Celsius temperature. But that's it. It also shows that uh, the easy cook rice, the empty says if you get your phone wet, stick it in rice. Don't do that. Put your phone uh, in a warm, dry place to try and dry it out. But if it's got an unremovable battery like most have these days and water's getting, it's going to suffer a lot of damage anyway. But uh, the rice, you'd really actually have to bake it in the oven first to dry it out for a while before you actually used it. And the easy cook, I think it's more absorbent than standard rice because it is a pre-cooked and therefore it's got a porous structure. But that is it. Interesting results, especially the two cat litters. But the clear winner once again was the classic silica gel. I think there is another one I'm going to have to try. Is it Illumina? I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm going to have to try and find another desk and try. But other than that, the winner is still silica gel, but cat litter of both types is a good uh, close second.